guys, today I'm going to show you what is in the Summer Nails box from Latest in Beauty. It actually goes on sale today as I film this, it's Sunday, uh, but I just checked it online just to check the pricing and things for this video and it's already sold out. However, uh, I don't think that that's a matter of you can't buy it anymore because there are, they are taking reservations. So if you put your email address down, it's kind of first come first served basis, but it is seriously sold out that quickly. So if you want to get your hands on one of these, then you will need to go and write your email address in that box now. So I will link that below where you can actually reserve your own box. Um, but the selection is amazing. And I wasn't really aware of this service. It's not a subscription service. It's something that you could buy kind of as and when it launches. So it's not, I don't believe, something that you can reserve in advance. Um, when it goes on sale, you need to go and get it. A bit like the Selfridges Beauty Box and the ones that come out kind of seasonal. Uh, and this is the Summer Nails Box. Now, like I say, I wasn't aware of what it was gonna be. I wasn't, I didn't kind of look them up ahead of receiving this box and this box box was sent to me uh, and so I really did not know what to expect at all but I'm so impressed with the contents and I would definitely consider purchasing one of the subsequent boxes in the future because it's stuff that I really do want to try. It's one of those things. Beauty boxes for me have always been, I'm sick of creams and shower gels and things that, from brands that I'm not even interested in that are too expensive or whatever but almost everything in this box was like, I, I've actually wanted to try that in the past and I'm really pleased that I've now got the opportunity so another win for me for sure. Before I've even got into it, I'm going to tell you I like it. So this is the contents of the box and first of all, I saw this. The Bourjois Nail Polish Remover and it's that magic one second one. This was the one that I kind of said, well, am I interested in it? Am I really that bothered? And I wasn't, I decided in the end, because I tried ones from Kiss Nails that had kind of like a scrubby, bristly, plasticky thing inside, and I liked it, but it was a bit of a gimmick, you know. I ended, always end up going back to regular nail polish remover and cotton pads. You can't put your toes in there. You know, it, ultimately you cannot go without the regular removal. Um, and unless this was gonna be amazing for glitter, I wasn't that interested. So I'm very excited to try it. I have used it once, I used it today. I wanted to use some of the things in the kit to show you uh, to tell you what I thought of them before reviewing this kit, or this box. Um, but I, I was kind of impressed. The only issue that I found was that where I have a little bit of, at the moment, I don't know what, what it is, what I've done, um, but my fingers have kind of been blistering. I've got no idea. It must be some kind of a reaction to something, but just my fingertips. Uh, and so I've got lots of peeling skin, which is pretty grim looking, but um, it stings a little bit if you get nail polish removed from them. So when you use a normal pad, obviously you can direct where you want it to be and kind of try to avoid those areas where when you use this you stick your whole finger in and it wipes it off and it does sting a little bit but obviously if your cuticles are as they should be then that shouldn't be a problem at all so I'm looking forward to trying that more and seeing how it fares with glitter nail polish that's definitely something I did want to try uh, the second thing I noticed which I was really excited about was this and it's a Butter London nail polish and um, this is massive in YouTube blogging circles Butter is like the new essay, but it's twice as expensive. It's about 14 pounds a bottle, I believe. In fact, maybe it tells me, does it, does it, no. I think it was around 14 pounds a bottle, and so I've not dared to actually buy one for myself yet, but I'm really excited that had to have this. Uh, and I have tried it on, I've used it, I've put it on today, and the shade is Yummy Mummy, equally as exciting as the fact that it is a Butter London polish in the first place. Uh, so really, really excited to have that, and I'm considering buying some more now, because you can't just have one. You need a little mini collection, right? So it's like the Chanel ones, you take off the top, and then it has a little lid to actually use, because obviously this would be a little bit more cumbersome. And it has a little birdie on the top, how cute is that? So, Butter London nail polish, and the box itself is only 14.95, so if that's like 14 pounds, plus potentially, depending on where you buy it from, you've practically got that within one nail polish. But if you're like me and don't want to spend 14 pounds on a nail polish, then you'll be pleased to see there are other things in the kit as well. Something else that had taken my eye when I've seen them in boots and online uh, are these Essie nail decals. Uh, and these are kind of like the Sally Hansen nail strips, all the ones that have been around. Uh, and I wasn't sure about getting these because they were so expensive compared to ones that I've tried in the past. In fact, do you know what? That's not true. They're not so expensive. They're so expensive for me. I think that they are kind of comparable depending on the brand, but you can get, definitely get cheaper ones than these. I think these are about seven pounds, um, the ones that I saw, but I will double check that for you and leave it in the, don't, in the information bar. Along with everything, I will list everything. Um, but I did want to try these. And again, it's one of those things that I wasn't going to pick up for myself, but I'm really glad that I've got to try them. Which is, I think, what's, what a beauty box should be about. I don't need to try 15 body lotions. I want to try the things I actually 
want to try but don't want to actually go out and buy for myself. I need them to be forced upon me and if I love them then I will repurchase them. So I'm really pleased with, what, with what's in this box. Uh, and the strips look like this, they're red and they have a little gold dot detailing. Not necessarily the pattern that I would have chosen but you know it'll give me an idea of the longevity, how easy they are to apply. I might even make a review video on these. Um, I also got, see I have actually used this stuff, I also got this I have no idea how to put it back into its little case, but it is a nail file and it's from the Vintage Cosmetic Company. I actually did buy something from the Vintage Cosmetic Company uh, from a little store in Leeds. Um, so I'm kind of aware of them already, but a little nail file and I actually got a little, wherever it is, something from them. 25% off any purchase made online. Uh, if you use the code U at the checkout, and the offer is valid until the 30th of June. So 25% off that particular brand. And again, everything will be listed below. Uh, I got two things from Nails Inc. One of them is a nail polish. I have no idea what the shade is, but if you know, please let me know. It's a super, super bright pink, really very summery. That was one thing about the Yummy Mummy from um, Butter London. This is not the most summery shade. It's a nude. It's kind of got a sparkle to it, but it is a nude. I don't really know where they were going with that, but this is a super duper bright summery shade. And then they have their caviar top coat, which again is something that I've so wanted to try for so long. Um, but I wasn't sure whether or not it'd be any good. And it's like, you know, £10 plus when you're talking about nails ink products. So I wasn't willing to just kind of splash out when I have got other top coats that I love, including Sesh Feet. And it's okay, I've used it today, it's all right. It's very thin and I definitely wouldn't replace my Sesh Feet with it. But if you don't like that gloopy look, if you just want a thin top coat, it's very nice. And we'll see how well it um, makes my nail polish last. So I definitely wanted to try that as well. Um, I got this from Rituals, which is a nail varnish corrector pen. Very interesting, I've never tried one of these before, but I have heard um, people on YouTube talk about them, and basically it's like this, there are some refills. I feel like somebody reviewed something very, very similar to this and said that it dried out really quickly, and even these refills have dried out, so I'm going to be very careful about um, popping the lid back on and making sure that it does that extra click to make sure that it doesn't dry out very, very quickly. But it's supposed to be for touch-ups, so you know, if you've overdone uh, your nail polish, if you've kind of gone over the cuticles, or it's not as neat as it could be, then you go in there and you can neaten it up. So I like the idea of that. I've just never tried one before. So again, something that was decent to try. And lastly is this Lost Tan Hand Cream, which is very, very popular, but not that long ago. My brother worked in um, an not an estate agent, a news agent when he was younger and um, little known fact, when magazines give away free gifts, they, if they don't sell the magazines, then the news agents will send back all of the magazines to be destroyed, but then they keep the free gifts, or at least in the place that he worked they did, uh, and then they kind of shared it out among the staff that worked there, and I must have about 20 of these Lost Tan hand creams, and I'm not a massive fan. I know that some people love them, um, and it's like a really big deal to get uh, a sample or whatever, but I mean this is a full size one and I know that they're quite expensive, but I don't, I'm not a big fan, so I'll give that to someone or I'll just put it in my stash that I'll never use. <laughs> but I, again, that is a really cool thing to have in the box because I know that they are very popular and lots of people would be pleased to have them as an addition. But that's everything that's in the box. I'm really pleased with it. I know that most of you will know that I am a bit of a nail polish junkie anyway, so I was going to pretty much love anything no matter what it was going to be. But the Buzz of London, I was like, yes! I've always wanted to try something from them. And the Bourjois nail polish remover. They were the two things that I was really excited about and uh, so much so that I've used them already. Um, but uh, I will be swatching this on my blog, or at least I'll be taking pictures of this. What's going on with my knuckles? They look like a different colour to my hands. I don't know what's going on there, but the lighting is strange. I know you don't like me to talk about that, but the lighting's a bit funny today. Uh, it's very, very late on. It's been a really long day, and I'm gonna get in the bath and get in bed very, very soon. I just really wanted to upload this video tomorrow, so I needed to film it today. Um, tomorrow's actually Bank Holiday Monday, very exciting. We've got lots of plans, and I'm gonna hopefully uh, film some videos with Laura from Laura Loves Beauty, because I know they were quite popular, and she's had some requests to film some more with me as well. So hopefully we'll get some nice outdoor summary videos filmed for you tomorrow. If you have any requests, please let me know. And otherwise, thanks for watching, and all the information about this box will be in the info bar. Bye very oily so as you scrub it leaves behind it smells so good um, it leaves behind the residue and it just it's a very very luxurious feeling product